Hi everyone, it's Rachel with Rachel Super Cute Creations and I am here um, tonight crafting these adorable little handkerchief dresses. Aren't these just so cute? I think they're adorable and you can spread them out and make them nice and fluffy or but what I think they're going to be amazing for are the fronts of journals. Aren't those adorable? And for those of you who quilt, um, these could easily be stitched down onto a block and you could take all those beautiful hankies that you have and you can use them up. So I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Um, the other thing I was thinking is this would be really cute to have a little hanger on the top. So I'm going to try the paper clip to make a hanger. I don't know how well it's going to work. I really probably need some different wire. Um, but I was just thinking, boy, wouldn't that be cute if I could get a little hanger um, for this cute little dress to hang on. So I hope everybody's having a great day. If you're here, please say hello. Um, as you know, on Sundays, I typically come on and just do a quick craft with me. Um, I did quite a bit of estate sales. Um, and, um, also we did a few antique stores, um, this weekend. So we had a great time doing that. My husband and I, um, we also went up North to visit my dad. So we were busy this weekend. All right. So we're just going to kind of, I'm just winging this a little bit and it might not be perfect. But I think if I move it down behind here like this, I think that'll work. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and just make this little hanger. And I cannot find my jewelry pliers, so I'm using my husband's all-purpose tool right here. So... I didn't want to take the time to go and do this. If you jumped on, please say hello so I know who's in here. I greatly appreciate that. I know it's busy and some people are probably getting dinner and things like that. Um, I know that I believe Keisha has a sale going on today. So some people might be at the sales. Um, but I'm just here crafting along with everybody. All right. So all I did is just kind of spin that around. It's not perfect. Um, and then I'm going to use my jewelry pliers to make a little hook here. Make it look like, make it look like a little hanger. And I'm sure you can get these hangers um, probably online. I'm sure we can get some little metal hangers, but look at that. Isn't that cute? And I can take my sewing thread and just attach that. It looks, I mean, it, it would be nice if it was a little bit bigger. Um, I could probably even tack those sleeves down a little, but I think it'll work for this one. Um, we're going to give it a shot. I'd like it to be just a little bit bigger next time, just because this one is wider. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just tack that on. Hi, Christine. Christine, I am going to make little hanky, vintage hanky dresses. So while I'm waiting for people to jump on, I just made a quick little hanger for my dress. Um, I'm hoping we're going to get a few more. Otherwise, it's just going to be you and I hanging out today. Thanks so much for joining, though. Appreciate it. And you can use um, regular thread. These are my um, self-threading needles that you know I love that I get from my sewing distributor. Um, but I'm using purling thread. Um, it's a little thicker, and I like to use that on projects. So, um, But you can just use regular thread if you want. Okay. So I am just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to tack this um on here just give me one okay sorry my fingers are probably going to be in the way for you guys to see but 
just going to tack this on. All right, let's see if I can hold it and do it here. Hi, Luann, welcome. Thanks so much for joining. So I'm hoping this will inspire you all to get out those hankies that you've been hoarding because I'm sure if you're like me, you've been hoarding some hankies for a while now um, and you just don't know what to do with them. If you do not want to, oops, you guys, I'm sorry, I have to trim this because I wasn't paying attention, did not want to go through to the front. Um, if you have been hoarding, oh, perfect. Oh, Luann, I hope you picked them up. I love hankies. I never, I, I don't have a, find them very often. Yeah, whenever you see those, pick those up for me. If they're a really good deal, girl, buy them for me and I'll 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 buy them from you. I'm always using hankies and projects. Plus, my ladies love hankies. They love the vintage hankies. Oh, Debbie, you're at the ball game. Well, you can always rewatch it, hon, but I'm glad you um glad you're able to jump on all right i'm just sewing stitching this on real quick so that i can show you what it looks like oh my goodness i am making a complete mess because i'm trying to look at the camera and sew at the same time and now i'm just making a disaster okay all right there we go so all i did is just tack it and i tacked it so it didn't go through the front Oh, Debbie, all I'm doing, I haven't even started yet. I was waiting for people to get on. All I did is just make a quick little hanger. So you have not missed a thing, honey. I'm going to just tack this hanger on, and we're going to get started. You haven't missed anything. You came on just in time. Yeah, cutting up hankies for tuck spots is perfect. I actually have an idea, you guys. You guys are going to see in my next um, CCC sale, I've got some, some little hanky projects, I think. Um, you ladies are going to like. So I'm working on some little packs for you. Artsy want to be Nancy. Welcome, welcome. Are you new to my channel? If you are, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, so I want to do some hanky projects because I have been hoarding hankies. Um, I do have some hankies in my Etsy shop. And um, I don't have a ton of hankies in there, but I have a few. Okay, so here is this little hanky, and I added this little this little hanger on the top that is so it can be hung. Isn't that so stinking cute, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the thing I love about this project is you don't need a lot of items. So um, this is just a piece of wood because I'm going to be ironing. And I didn't feel like getting my ironing board out and about. So this is just a board. And then I'm just going to take, um, this is just a, um, a little, my brain's not working. Sorry. This is just a towel. This is just a dish towel that's clean. And then I am just going to grab a hanky. And I have a whole bin of hankies here. So I'm just going to grab one. Oh, let's see. We did a blue one. So let's do a purple one. Let's do a purple one. All right. And so what you do is you're going to open your hanky up. And I put the wrong side down. Now, you do need to be careful with hankies. Some hankies are cotton and some hankies are uh, mixed. They could be a polyester. They might be a um, silk. So just watch your setting. Um, these are cotton hankies, so I'm just, and I do wash my hankies first, so I don't take these directly um, from where I get them. I, I actually wash them. And then what I use is just, this is just cheap, $1 heavy starch spray. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray a little bit of spray on here. Um, and I like the starch just because when I start folding by hand, it just makes it a little bit easier for me to see. Um, 
where my fold marks are. Okay, but it's not necessary. You don't have to, to starch it. But for me, it just makes it a little bit easier. I like the feeling of it. Um, and I like this one's a little wonky. So it's probably hard for you to see that. But it's a little wonky. So what I'm doing with the starch is I'm trying to square it up a little bit. Um, because it was used, you know, and, and you think about the woman pulling on it, using it, blowing her nose or, you know, using it at a wedding or for tears or whatever. So, all right. So all I did is go ahead and I just sprayed just a tiny bit of starch on there. And all that does is just gives me a little bit of stabilization in there. Okay. If your hanky is very thin, you can take and put a very thin, um, oh, and my camera's going to act up. I apologize. Um, you can put a very thin stabilizer underneath it. Um, so for example, let me see if I have one. So something like, oh, I might not have any like that. Um, like this. Okay. So see how thin this one is? You can make a dress out of this, but you're going to see everything through it. And this is like a, like a sheer. You can put a stabilizer. You just cut a piece of stabilizer, put it behind it, and iron it on, and that will make it much better. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to fold my hanky in half. And you can use an iron or not use an iron, whatever you want to do. I just typically take my fingers and I just press really hard on there. Um, and then when I open it up, I have a crease because I've used my um, heavy starch. It's, it automatically kind of gives me a crease right away. Okay. So then what I do is I will take right sides and I'm gonna fold it right in here to my center line. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a press with my fingers. And I'm gonna do that again and press with my fingers. So what I've created is sort of like an accordion fold. So we have the one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, and four. Hi everybody, thanks for joining. I see some new faces in here, which is exciting, exciting, exciting. All right, hang on one second here. Got a little bit of a, a little bit of a lag today. Just adjust this just a little bit. Let's see here. All right. Okay, so one more time, fold it in half, just like that, open it up, we're going to fold it in, and fold it in, just like that, okay, open it back up, and we've got this four side here, all right, <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to have the right side up. And we are going to take, I'm going to put this so that my folds are running this way. I'm going to take and fold this one in, just like that. And I'm going to fold this one in. And I'm going to try, you can see here, this is still a little bit wonky. All right. You know what? We're going to fold it this way. because I want my flowers to go the other way. So I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm going to fold it in again. And I'm going to fold it in again because I'm looking to see where my flowers are and how they're going to show up when I open them back up. So I'm taking this fold that I just did and I'm bringing it right here. So this is going to be the bottom of my dress and I'm going to bring it right here. Okay. 
So now what I like to do, you do not have to do this, but I like to give this a good press. Okay, so it looks like this on the back, looks like this on the front. So let me show you. So here's where we are. And the reason why I was adjusting that is because when I open this up, I want to see these flowers. Okay, so you do have to kind of play with it a little bit. Uh-oh, something's going on with my camera, huh? Oh, it sure is, you guys. I'm sorry. What's going on here? You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to log off and I'm going to log right back on because I had this problem the other night and I could not get it to stop without doing that. So I'm going to log off and jump right back on. I apologize, everybody. <laughs>